another picture. How many pictures can I bring out? <laughs> okay, so this one has a little bit of a dancing party. I think that one will be quite annoying to just have on screen while I'm trying to draw, so I'm going to have to close it. Let's try to avoid this. Oh. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my video. So today I will be attempting to draw a drawing while this little goose here on screen is just, I guess, hanging out here and sometimes interrupting my drawing a bit. Guess we can start on the sketch. <laughs> Might as well, while this goose seems quite calm, not doing anything wrong. Okay, I think I'll select maybe uh, like a purplish color. Just made the, the background purple, just so it kind of suits, suits up. The, the goose is bringing something out. What is that? That's, is that a little, little goose? Okay, let's close that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, so it appears as if this goose has stolen my mouse. Good thing we weren't drawing yet, but I think that gives a bit of an indication of what we're going to have to deal with for... The rest of this video. So, so anyway, uh, about this drawing, I was planning to draw maybe with um, this kind of purplish color just to, to start the sketch, um, just to suit the vibe of the drawing because I'm, I was planning to draw my character. Her name is Aria. She's a necromancer and she kind of has like a purple theme theme to her design. So yeah, that's, that's, that's who I would be drawing today. And I was thinking, let's have a little um, sketch of the pose. So I was thinking she was going to be just uh, standing there. Maybe let's make her look down a little bit. And she has her hand here. And on her hand, there's a little mouse. So since she's a necromancer, um, yeah, maybe you could think that maybe this mouse uh, is not 100% alive. Let's just say that. So that was kind of my plan for the sketch. I think it sounds kind of cute. And <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm just drawing the general sketch of the pose for now. Um, but I'm going to get um, the kind of facial proportions in as well. It seems like the, the goose is leaving behind some tracks. Nope. Please leave. I'm trying to draw the face. Oh, oh no. <gasps> oh no. I was just trying to draw the face and my mouse got stolen. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Just drawing the outlines of the hair. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Peace was never an option. Uh, let's just close that and see if we can avoid. Uh, no, I don't think we can avoid this. Just trying to draw the hair. <laughs> My mouse got, got stolen again. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's let's avoid the goose. Maybe we'll go draw the the hand. Just leaving a few tracks with the dirty feet. Okay. Oh, another picture. Can we just... Yep, <laughs> we're gonna be caught. Uh, I was going to just erase some of this mess that I've made. I'm kind of thinking that with the things that the goose is bringing onto the screen, we should just let them accumulate until we actually need the tools below the screen. So then we don't get interrupted too much. Peace was never an option again. Okay, I think these are kind of starting to accumulate. So let's try closing now. Okay, now we're being chased. Okay, okay. Let's try getting here now. Oh. Okay. I don't think we can avoid it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well at least our screen is clean now. I think it looks okay so far, but... Um, and, and I think it's actually looking a bit cleaner than I thought it would now that I've started on the, the face and hair. So I'm, what I'm thinking is when I do the line art, I will just copy paste this layer and clean it up instead of doing it all from scratch. So yeah, that's my plan for now. So it seems like this goose has had a busy day of honking. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Oh, <laughs> Just really persistent. I wonder if it will ever stop. 
Oh, it stopped. We can escape from the goose. We just need to move off a mouse fast enough until it gives up. Okay, that's good news then. Mess with a honk, you get the bonk. It's very intimidating. <laughs> I think I need to probably just clean up this section because it has a lot of lines. Let's see how that looks in that. I think that's much neater. Pixel art, you kind of have um, less pixels to work with. So you sometimes need to be careful, like with, with, with the eyelashes, it's still kind of looking weird because it has like little triangles. I think the mouth and the nose look mostly okay. Just, just a little bit of cleanup for that one. Let's see how it looks zoomed out. I think maybe this eye needs to be a bit bigger. And then just a little bit of cleanup as well. Some eyelashes like that. Just a suggestion of eyelashes. Maybe let's close all these windows because otherwise they're going to... Oh, <laughs> didn't even have time to move my mouse out of the way. Let's just close these. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of cute, isn't it? It's like having a little companion with you while you draw. Maybe let's work on the mouse for now just to clean it all up a little bit. Peace was never an option. Again, another picture. How many pictures can it bring out? <laughs> okay, so this one has a little bit of a dancing party. I think that one will be quite annoying to just have on screen while I'm trying to draw, so I'm going to have to close it. Okay. Let's try to avoid this. Oh. <laughs> we'll have to get the ears right. So let's do the ears. I'm not really using a reference for this mouse either, so I'm not sure how, how similar to a real mouse it's going to turn out, but, but we'll see. So the little eye here. Maybe whiskers like this. Maybe make some lines here a bit thicker. Just to give a little bit of weight variation. Dirty again. <laughs> Stop making the canvas dirty. At least it doesn't leave marks on our drawing, right? Imagine how annoying that would be. I cause problems on purpose. Yeah, I think I think we can see that. Again with the dancing, dancing birds. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, but all the birds dancing. I think that one, like, I mean, it's cute and all, right? But when you're trying to draw, it's pretty distracting. So I think with these ones, we just have to close them. Since we closed that one, might as well. Okay. Just want to continue drawing. Please stop trying to steal my mouse. Just nothing you can do. Either have to spend the ages running away or, or you get bitten. So maybe it's even faster to just let the goose bite you, so then lets you go. <laughs> okay, I think we're pretty close to finishing the line out, actually. Just as we are about to finish, <laughs> the goose is threatening us again. So, so that's great. I think for the coloring, we can probably just duplicate the line art again and just color it in. Since it's like a pixel art, we could probably actually use the fill tool. So Ari actually has like um, the sort of purple, purplish hair. Yeah, that's that's so much faster than than coloring normally because yeah, the fill tool <laughs> just colors it for you. And of course, there's going to be like little little bits here and there that aren't filled, but still, that's so much faster. Okay, now let's select the color of the mouse. I think it's going to be kind of like a grayish mouse, but since we are using um, I kind of want to have the drawing be a bit purplish. You can see that I select it. It's actually like a grayish purple. It's not just like a straight gray. It's a bit purplish. Um, and let's just see see if that works. I think maybe I'll want it a bit lighter colored just so it doesn't... Because I feel like that one clashes with the line art a bit. Usually that's what I do with digital art. I just play around until I get a color I want. Because normally my mice have pink ears, right? But since this one might be not fully alive because you know area is necromancer i think try to make it pink but it's going to be like a, a grayish pink so 
maybe like a bit pale looking. So the tail as well. So I guess if the tail is pink, that would be a rat. Not 100% sure. <laughs> and area has like quite pale skin. So I'm just gonna try to select that. Oh, another image. Another quite large image. Okay, so let's have a look at what's that. I am an agent of chaos. Yeah, I think we I think we could see that already. Okay, this one looks um, not quite right. I think I might have to make it a bit more pink or maybe a bit more pale. Just because we have a purple background, I think it needs to be kind of correct shade. But we don't want area to be a bit purplish because being a necromancer doesn't mean that your you yourself is undead. So. Just need to find the correct kind of tone that, oh, that matches well. And if you want to know more about this character, so I already mentioned that her name is Aria. She's actually from my comic. Well, now it's two comics since I'm also making a new one. So if you want to have a look at that, I'll just put that in the description. And I'm also making kind of like an audio book type thing for which the main character is a vampire called Taylorron, who's also in the uh, comics. But Aria is also a very major character in that. So it's kind of a fantasy book uh, with like a vampire and an extramancer friend and they do like foraging and stuff. So if you're interested, I'll also put a link to the audio book in the description too. So you can check it out if you want. Let's just close them because they're starting to pile up again. Except I can keep good work because that's that's very motivating. Very nice of the goose to leave that there. And I'm gonna color the the white here. I just used kind of like a more purplish white just so it's not as jarring. So it suits our vibe, vibe a bit more. Okay, so this one, <laughs> it kind of goes onto our drawing. So I'm gonna delete it. And the mouse got stolen again. I think maybe we're done with the base colors and we can get started with, with the shading here. Probably gonna do the skin first. And for the skin, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move it a bit towards the purple uh, to create the shading. So not fully purple, but just closer towards the purple end. Okay, piece was never an option. I'm gonna close that because that's a bit rude. I like the good work more. I wish that the the goose would say that a bit more often and less less threats i'm not sure if that's too much shadow we'll see we'll see honks <laughs> gonna get rid of that one <laughs> We've been given another good work. That's great. I'll just collect them here. Okay, let's start. get started on the background. Now. I was thinking of maybe some clouds, something like that. Let's close this. But not like a blue sky, but maybe kind of a close to sunset type of sky where it's more purplish. So let's try maybe making a gradient. Just roughly marking out where the clouds will go. Oh, <laughs> the mouse got stolen while I was just trying to paint a cloud. I'm just playing around like um, with with the shape of them now. I'm not trying to get them 
super neat yet. And the reason I'm making them kind of shadowy on the top and light on the bottom is because I'm imagining that maybe it's just after sunset and the light is coming from the bottom. Okay, and I think what I'm going to do now is maybe do some smudging. Okay, so I have a simple cloud background here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try making it look a bit like a um, maybe 80s anime style. So I'm going to add some noise to, to it and stuff like that, just to make it look like an old VHS. So. I think that's basically the drawing done. You can see I added some noise. I think I could probably make it a bit more subtle, something like that. But yeah, so here is what it looks like without any kind of modifications. And I just wanted it to look a bit more like a old anime. So, so that's why I added that. And somehow we managed to complete this drawing, even with this goose interrupting and sabotaging our work. And so that's good. <laughs> I think this challenge was not as difficult as the, uh, I think it was 10 minute, one minute, 10 second challenge, which if you haven't seen, I will link in the description because that challenge, you know, it had like a proper restriction of timing, but this one, although it's quite annoying when your mouse gets stolen, right? <laughs> or when the goose drags some stuff out onto the screen, it is something that you can kind of just wait for the goose to do its thing. And then you move on. And once again, I will link my story and comic in the description. So if you want to know more about Aria, this character, you can. But yeah, let me know if there's any other challenges you want me to do. And I guess if you want to uh, actually view those challenges as well, maybe you can subscribe if you want. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not going to, going to go and force you. I'm not going to come to your house and force you to click on the subscribe button. So it's it's a hundred percent up to you. Ah, the goose has brought out good work again. So I think I'll close this one, keep the good work. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.